Since its recent lows in March, Neo stock is back with a vengeance and has climbed over 200%. During this time, the company had a few pieces of good news come out, which I will cover in this video. And all of this leads to the question, is Neo stock now a buy? I'm personally a shareholder of Neo, and I've made quite a few videos on this stock last year because you guys, my audience, kept asking me to cover this stock and share my thoughts. I disclosed my position at the time when I opened it in this video, and I still hold those shares that I purchased back a year ago. Do I plan to sell my shares? Do I plan to buy more shares? Is Neo stock still a good investment here today? These are the questions I'm going to answer in today's video. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun one. And guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, drop a huge like down below to support the channel. And let's try to beat what the best Neo video I released last year got, which was a measly 245 likes. I know you guys can easily triple this or quadruple this here, so let's do it. So as usual, the breakdown here is going to be kind of an overview of what's going on with the stock what's driving prices higher right now kind of understand the fundamentals of the business here from a high level and then I'm gonna move on to share my thoughts and what I'm doing with my neo investment when it comes to companies like neo and Tesla investors look at things like delivery numbers and production numbers as opposed to really focusing too much on their balance sheet today this is because investors are projecting that if the company can deliver and produce cars at a massive scale then eventually Eventually, those profits will come down the line. Investors typically are going to forgive, at least in the short term, if the company's fundamentals don't look too strong. However, when there's uncertainty about the company actually succeeding from a delivery or production standpoint, that's when things can get ugly. We saw that in Tesla stock in 2019. Stock really took a hard beating there and everyone was bearish on this stock. And that kind of brings us to NEO as well because this stock has gone through something very similar recently. But either way, before we get into the charts, let's take a look at the fundamentals for NEO to figure out what's happening and why investors may have actually changed to a bullish stance here on this company. NEO reported their earnings in March and they did not look good. There were decreases posted across the board and I tend to ignore quarter over quarter performance personally because Q4 is seasonally stronger than Q1, so it's kind of a flawed metric, but they do provide us with year over year figures as well. And we also have to note that the global issue hit China in Q1, so this was kind of a double whammy for it. But the good thing here is that they have year over year performance as well, so we can use that metric to compare how NEO is doing compared to a year ago. Sales for their cars decreased 18% year over year. Vehicle margins were more or less in line with last year, which were still pretty bad. Revenues decreased 15.9% year over year, and gross margins actually improved slightly here year over year, but it's still pretty bad. All of this resulted in losses for the business in the quarter with loss from operations of 221 million US dollars, which was a decrease of 40% year over year. Net loss also came in at $238 million, which was also a decrease of around 35.5% year over year. All of this has resulted in the company now sitting in around $338 million in cash at the end of the quarter. So right away, this should kind of raise a red flag to you if you're a fundamental investor and you actually take the time to look at balance sheets of companies because if a company is burning over $200 million a quarter, but the balance that they have in the bank is only around $300 million, simple math will tell you that just a couple quarters of this cash rate burn will potentially put this company out of business and they may not be around going into 2021. Now they are making some moves here to raise capital and we'll discuss that in a second. But before that, I want to really show you guys why the stock has been rallying recently, even though these fundamentals from kind of just looking at it objectively are pretty horrible. Neil provided an update for April 2020 and they noted that sales for their ES8 and ES6 were up 180% year over year. This gives us a sign that Q1 could have been the bottom for the company. And now with the economy back opened in China and things starting to recover, NEO is positioned to grow quite substantially. It had almost a 200% growth year over year and that is nothing to sneeze at. And keep in mind guys, this is just with two SUV vehicles that they currently sell here today. So that's quite impressive. All of this really gave investors some hope, but then just a couple of weeks ago, NEO provided another update, and this time it was from May 2020 numbers, and things looked very bright. Here they say that they delivered 3,436 of vehicles in May, which was a record high monthly delivery number. This brings the total delivered vehicles for the company to 10,000, 
429 for 2020 and the cumulative deliveries of the ES8 and ES6 in their lifetime to 42,342. This is about a 33% increase month over month for deliveries, so Q2 is shaping up to be a very strong quarter for NEO. So now things may start to look a bit clearer as an investor as to why the stock started rallying recently. And if you look at the charts here, you can see that from June 4th, which is when this announcement actually came out for the May delivery numbers, the stock climbed over 22% in just two weeks. And clearly it had a run up prior to this as well as investors seemed to have expected this sort of growth in May after the numbers in April also looked positive. Nonetheless, the numbers that came out in May actually surpassed most investors' expectations, and that resulted in a nice pop in the stock in very short order. So, I mean, good on them. Unlike other electric car companies that don't even produce anything today, NIO is out there producing, delivering, and trying to innovate best they can to serve their customers and their market in China. Growth seems to be accelerating here for this company and things are looking good for the rest of 2020 for this company. So investors naturally are excited. So now let's take a look at valuation for NEO because on this channel, we don't blindly invest in stocks without understanding valuations. And I think you guys will be pretty surprised at what you see here. NEO currently sits at close to an $8 billion market cap, which on its own doesn't provide much context. But then if you look at other companies in the space, like Nikola, for example, it's sitting at a $24 billion market cap. And this is, of course, a company with absolutely nothing to show for as of today. And then, of course, we look at the leader in this space, Tesla. It's sitting at a whopping $185 billion market cap. Now, keep in mind, NEO does not have nearly the same amount of technology or reach that Tesla has currently. So a premium for Tesla is justified, in my opinion, especially since they have shown profitability and they've shown consistent growth in recent quarters when compared to NEO. So investors see Tesla as a much more safer investment with still a lot of upside potential for growth. But check this out, speaking of growth, NEO is slated for some behemoth growth here in 2020. 71.5% growth is expected in their revenue, and for 2021, it is still expected to grow at an incredible 50% clip. In 2021, they are expected to pull in nearly $3 billion in revenue, which is only a year and a half away, yet the stock trades at only an $8 billion market cap. This means you're paying a premium of around 2.6x when you compare their market cap to revenue, which if you watch my previous videos is a very appealing number here for me for a high growth company. I typically like to look for prospects around the two times range or lower and NEO kind of fits into this bucket here with a lot of good upside potential and a good opportunity for a high growth risky investment. But now here's the big but, this company does pose risk. It is a high risk play no matter what way you shape this up. First off, we just saw a couple of days ago here that they issued some new shares, which are around 72 million new shares at a price of $5.95 per share. Now this is both good and bad. It's good because it provides the company more liquidity and that's good because remember, they only have enough cash on hand for another couple of quarters if they keep burning $200 million a quarter. The bad thing, however, with this move is that it's a sign of many, many more offerings to come in the future. One of the most common ways to raise capital is to issue new shares, but every time they do this, existing shareholders like myself get hurt. There's 72 million new shares now in NEO, so this means my shares are worth less automatically because it's simple economics. If there's more supply, there's less value. Now also as a smaller risk here, but still a risk nonetheless that I consider, is that NEO shares, like most Chinese companies, are ADR shares, meaning that they are a holding company. In a nutshell, you don't really directly own NEO stock here by owning these shares. So if tensions between the US and China heat up again in the future, this poses a very real risk to investors for some bad outcomes. So even though I'm personally invested still in NEO here today, I still manage this investment accordingly because it does pose a high risk here, not only from a business standpoint, but also kind of from a political standpoint as well with future regulations, which could hurt these type of investments. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't look at NEO as a possible investment. Of course, that's not the case because I personally do hold NEO stock. It just means that when you do buy this stock, if 
you do buy this stock, it would be a wise decision to size it accordingly in your portfolio to manage that sort of risk. Okay, so now we've gone over the fundamentals, we understand what's going on with the business. Let's get into the main question you guys have for me, which is what am I doing with my NEO shares? Am I buying more? Am I selling my stock? And of course, the other question is, is NEO stock a buy here at today's prices? So just so you guys recall, or maybe learn for the first time if you haven't watched my previous videos, I bought NEO back in 2019 because I wanted a hedge to Tesla. Tesla at the time was a risky investment. There was good growth potential and I did see a path forward for them, but it did pose a high amount of risk and I wanted to kind of offset that risk with a hedge. Now at the time, remember Tesla was not really that big in China and NEO had the real potential to be the main player in China. It was their market. They knew their customer base. They had the technology as well and they were producing cars. So what I figured I would do is kind of pick up some shares of NEO, have it as a hedge. So if Tesla goes bad, hopefully NEO would actually offset that. But if the other way around, if NEO goes bad, then Tesla would hopefully offset that and we all know fast forward to today what has played out. Tesla has opened a gigafactory in Shanghai. Tesla is thriving in China and as a result their stock has gone up more than 3x from when I bought it. My cost basis on NEO is around $5.98 per share. So as of today's prices of $7.34, I am up 18.5% on this position. But guys remember it took a full year to reach this level. I was down well over 80% on NEO at some points when it was at its low, but this was such a small position that I didn't even pay attention to it to be honest. It's quite literally a buy and hold for a long, long time for me, so I didn't sweat seeing those paper losses of over 80%. But now as a contrast, the stock's recovered, it's up almost 20% here. Do I plan to sell? No, the exact same logic still applies. This is a long-term hold for me. This is a hedge for Tesla. I think Tesla has pretty much proven that they're going to be fine in China and they're going to continue growing globally as well. And the gains I've made in Tesla will easily offset any losses I may incur in the future in NEO. Even if that goes 100% bust and I lose my full investment in NEO, it still works out just fine because of position management in my portfolio. I also do believe that the dark days, you know, that Tesla saw back in 2019 are also past NEO now. I think NEO also saw this in late 2019 when the stock was a dollar something per share. But now things are recovering. The bottom, I believe, is in for this stock. And I think there's only upside from here on out as long as the liquidity does not come into question here again. I think that they'll probably issue more shares like we've already seen. And I'm fine with that, to be honest, because it means the company can still stay afloat and grow. But as an investor, remember, dilution is not really good for your shares. Your shares do become worth less. However, if it means the company can still survive, it's better to have your shares worth a little less than have them worth a zero dollars. Also with the valuation today of around $8 billion, I think that NEO is a pretty good bargain here, especially when you compare it to its peers like Tesla and especially Nikola. If you believe in Nikola and you believe that $24 billion valuation is justified, then you're probably drooling over NEO here at an $8 billion valuation because this company actually produces its cars already and sells it to customers. I think that within the next couple of years or so, NEO can definitely be a stock that's worth around 12 to 15 billion dollars and if they hit their revenue targets of three billion dollars by the end of 2021 I think that it should be in that range now will that happen we'll have to wait and see but as it looks right now things are moving up for this company and things are starting to look positive guys this was a subscriber requested video so if you appreciate it drop a huge like down below I also want to hear if you're invested in NEO or think of investing in NEO at these prices let me know your bullish or bearish thesis as always but either way guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.